Hi everyone! Today I am going to show you how to recreate this design with Procreate. Let's start by selecting our canvas size. For these designs I like to use the screen size. It has enough resolution and it looks good when you have the full screen filled. To select that size, tap on the plus sign and tap on screen size to open your Canva with two fingers. Make the Canva a little smaller so we can see the full screen. The next thing we need to do is select our color palette. I'm going to use this palette I created, but you can use any color you want. We are ready to start drawing. The first thing we are going to do is add a background layer filling it with a light pink shade. I like to rename the layers so they are a little bit organized. So I am going to name this layer background to fill it. Select a light pink color from the palette and drag the little pink circle at the top right of the screen onto the canvas. Now we are going to start adding our text to be able to see it. Select the dark color. I am using black, but we'll change it later, so don't worry too much. Now let's tap on the wrench at the bottom left of the screen and tap on add text. Tap on the sub bottom to style your text and the settings screen will appear. We are going to write the word coffee because I've been rewatching Gilmore Girls and Lorelei inspired this tutorial. To go back to settings, tap the button. To change the font, you just have to scroll down and select the one you want. I'm using this one called Keep on Truckin'. Now we want to size it up so widen the text box and slide the size cursor to the right until you are happy with it. You can also change the text to capital letters or make it hollow. We are going to turn it into capitals, but we will keep the letters filled in. Now that we are happy with our text, we can tap done and continue with our design. Let's center our text. To do that, Tap on the arrow at the top of the screen and make sure you have the snapping activated so when you move your design on the screen, these orange lines appear to indicate that your text is centered. We are going to duplicate the text twice below this one. So make sure you have enough space to do that. The next step is to color every letter with a different shade of brown to create a gradient. To be able to do that, open layers. Tap the layer miniature and a list will appear. Select rasterize from that layer. After this step, you won't be able to edit the text you wrote. Open your palette and start coloring the letters from dark brown to light brown. If you tap on continue filling, you just have to change the color and keep tapping the letters to color them. These two shades are too different. So I'm going to add a new shade in the middle to do that. Just choose the color and tap on one of the black squares of your palette. Now let's finish coloring our letters. Now that we have our colored text, turn off the color drop and open layers to duplicate our text. Slide the text layer to the left and tap duplicate. Then tap the arrow and move the duplicated text down like this. Repeat this step one more time. Now we are going to center the three layers by sliding the three of them to the right, tapping on the arrow and moving it around until you see this orange cross lines. You can also make them bigger if they look too small for the canvas. The next step is to transform the text to make it wavy. To do that, we are going to merge our three text layers by pinching them together. Now we are going to use a tool called Liquify to use it. Tap the wrench and select Liquify. This tool has a lot of options, but today we are going to use the push option. We have to adjust the size to achieve the desired effect. If the size is too small or too big, we won't be able to create the waves as we want. About 60% is a good size and you will be able to create the waves. Now, applying medium pressure, recreate these movements to create the waves. You may have to try it a couple of times to get the hang of it. If you want to use this design as a PNG to print mugs, tote bags, or anything like that, you can leave it here and turn off the background before you export it. To leave it as a wallpaper, I am going to add a texture layer on top. Add a new layer and rename it Texture. Select your favorite texture brush. 
I created some fabric texture brushes and I find this linen one very useful because it gives the designs a retro look. Now open your palette. Select the darker brown shade we've used and cover the whole canvas, making sure you are drawing in the new texture layer. As you can see, we are not able to see the letters properly. So we are going to change the layer mode to overlay so the texture integrates in the design. If you zoom in the design, you can see the texture properly. Our design is complete now. I hope you liked it and learned some new skills with this tutorial. See you on the next one.